What is going on, Carrots? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, in this video, we are going to be deep diving the new song by Seventeen, that being Super. We have a reaction already on the channel if you'd like to see me reacting to the music video itself. But in this one, we're going to be taking a look at the lyrics to try to figure out a little bit more. I just got done watching it, actually. So, um... This is going to be us looking at the English translation of the lyrics. I do know it's not 100% one-to-one, but there is something that we can take away from these lyrics. So let's take a look. Okay, intro, uh, 17 right here. Okay, so powerful way to start off the song, 17 right here. Potential, I'm going to, you know, I, I've said this multiple times. I'm about to confirm it. He's my bias. I'm sorry. I'm, I make no apologies for it. <laughs> All right. I looked at the ground and kept going to the top and faced everything like I'm so proud. I always win. It's key that you got a strong will. Strong will. The future's not going anywhere, not until I let go. Now that, okay, let's take a look at this little section. I look at the ground and kept going up to the top. So this is most likely, if we take it on face value, this is most likely them referring to them as a group, developing their um, musical talents and, 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 you know, working their way up and becoming more and more successful as a group. Faced everything, like I'm so proud, I always win. Confidence, okay? It's important that you have a strong will. 100%. Strong will is necessary in every single thing you do, not just in regards to them, not just in regards to the K-pop industry, in regards to everything. Now, you want to be careful because you don't want to come off too, too proud and boastful because that's a little off-putting. But having a strong will, determination, and everything like that is pivotal to everything that you do in everything. The future's not going anywhere, not until I let go. Another uh, another good line, I would say probably I, I like on the nose, it's definitely being like, you can't move forward if you don't let go of the past. The future's not going anywhere. You're not making any progress until you let go of the past. Also, another notion I like to think in is like, sometimes you gotta, st you gotta get out of your own way. All right, refrain, here we go. Hop on our cloud and get all around. Sun Wukong, also known as the Monkey King, famously had the ability to surf on clouds. As such, he is often depicted as traveling on a cloud instead of walking. The Monkey King. I'm familiar with the Monkey King. I think I know what the Monkey King is. All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so it's the same person. Sun Wukong in Mandarin Chinese is best known as the Chinese... No Journey to the West. Okay. Actually... I'm aware of this story a little bit. Journey to the West is a Chinese novel published in the 16th century during the Ming Dynasty and attributed to Wu Chang'in. It is regarded as one of the... Yes, I am familiar with this one. I am familiar with this one. The novel is an extended account of the legendary pilgrimage of the Tang Dynasty Buddhist monk who traveled to the western regions, Central Asia and India, to obtain... Buddhist sacred texts and returning after many trials and much suffering. Yeah, I am aware of this one. Okay. No, yeah. All right. So I guess he's famously known to surfing the clouds. So that's what they're referring to. Hop on our cloud and get all around. That's, yeah, probably what they're referring to. Uh, so that we can proudly stand tall. Let's move on to the next world go. Catch this rhythm and flow. Ah, interesting. Interesting. So another reference to the next world, Journey to the West. This is getting really, really cool and creative. Okay. If they're talking about going to the next world, maybe they're talking in their personal experience going to the next step of their career, but it's definitely a play on words to the Journey to the West. Got it. Say, 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 say. Heroes true colors like this, a stance of being free of all time and space. If I give it up all... And slip up. I don't know how to give up. I'm running riot. Okay. Feels like I turn into Sono. Okay, so I saw that they meant. So it is referring to the same character. Goku from Dragon Ball is based on that character as well. Okay. So Son Goku is based off of the Monkey King. Oh, that's interesting. I love Dragon Ball, to be honest. Um, is that why he has a tail? <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Okay. We'll, I'm getting like an idea of something. We'll never rest every day. Make it, make it. Don't break till we make it. Feels like I'm turning into him. Okay. Got it. 
I love my team. I love my crew. We already made it this far. I love my team. I love my crew. We already made it this high. I love my team. It's all thanks to you. Most likely referring to carrots, us. I feel like I turned into the king. Okay. Listen up. We're on our way now. Switching up the generation till now. We're not stopping. We're racing now. Misstep or not, the back seat. The, the back beat still goes pow. Pull up on my flying cloud. Yep, okay. So they're talking about the flying cloud. Rise up to the sky, power pole. So the Monkey King is depicted with a staff as his primary weapon of choice. The staff named... Oh, um... Uh... This. Sorry. <laughs> I definitely don't... I, I, I don't know if I can pronounce that. Ruyi Jingu Bang? Maybe. I apologize, is able to be willed by its wielder, allowing it to change in length and rise up to the sky. Uh, uh, Goku has the power pole in, uh, in the original Dragon Ball. Goku has the power pole. Okay. As well. Um, every day we always come and go. Let's move for the sake of it all. Go catch this music and flow. I like this. I like this. Say, 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 say. Heroes true colors like this. A stance of being free of all time and space. I give it my all uh, and slip up. If I give it my all and slip up, don't know how to give up. I'm running riot. Running riot, random. This is random. It's not related to the song, but running riot to me also stands for a medal that you get in uh, Halo. <laughs> Just a uh, random idea. Okay. Feels like I turn into the Monkey King. We'll never rest every day. Make it, make it. You know what? I want to research this for a second. One of the themes of the Journey to the West. Journey to the West explores the story of a Buddhist monk who travels from China to India to search for Buddhist sutras. Okay. What is Journey to the West about? Three principles. Uh, okay. Three disciplines include a mischievous monkey king. That's the main character. A greedy pig called Pigsy. And Sandy, the river monster. The respective Chinese names... Okay, yes. You know what I think is weird? The greedy pig is also in Dragon Ball. There's a lot of references to Dragon Ball in this story. Yep, that's weird. Okay. Notable adap adaptations. So probably like uh, movies and stuff. About the author... Why is the journey so to, so popular? It's a timeless satire and thrilling adventures. Okay, this is what I want to know. The moral lessons of Journey to the West. The main moral lessons in the Journey to the West are human perseverance, okay, determination, ambition, and most importantly, the importance of enlightenment of the human spirit. Main themes include religion, self-righteousness, and human redemption. So determination, ambition, strong will. Strong will. Okay. Sometimes the truth hurts. Sometimes the lies sweet. Sometimes kinds a kind of lie. Shove all the bad stuff together. So the, the truth does hurt and the lie is sweet. That is a hundred percent true. The truth, the reality of the situation sucks sometimes. And you want to put up with the lie because you don't and that's why they're referring to it being so sweet. It's what you want to hear. It's, 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 it's what you want. It tastes good. It sounds good. It's great. But it, that's not the reality. Truth is the reality, and it hurts sometimes. Yep. Okay. Ping out of fire. Energy. Gather your strength. And out comes power. En energy. One massive shot. Now let's all aim our cries up to the sky. This is the cartoon's credit songs. Song. Goku, a character based off the Monkey King, has the ability to release the spirit bomb technique. It's essentially a ball of energy. Is that what they're referring to? The spirit bomb can be quickly supercharged as many people across the globe or offer their energy? Are they actually referring to that? I thought they were primarily referring to, like, the original story. No, is there something in the original story that is like the spirit bomb? The energy. Gather your strength and out comes the power. One sh Are you kidding me, dude? Oh my god, no way. No way. 
Okay, if you're not familiar with, the, with, with, with what the spirit bomb is, I'll show you a picture. Give me, lend me your energy. Oh my God, no way. <laughs> no way, dude. No. Oh, okay, hold on. Okay, perfect, perfect. This is exactly what we needed. Okay, the spirit bomb is exactly that. It's it's Goku uh, manifesting a bunch of energy in one single thing, one shot. It's the, his most powerful technique. It, it destroys everything that it hits, but you need a lot of energy, and it's way more energy than he has. That's the whole thing. He has to borrow the... Oh, here's another example. This is even better. The amount of energy sometimes he needs and the amount of energy sometimes he gets is insane levels, right? Okay, all the time. Okay, well, I just said that it doesn't fail, but maybe it does. <laughs> okay, that's not the point. The point is that you, us, give the energy to Goku and then he manifests it into a giant spirit bomb, spirit, the energy, and then he, he forces it onto something and then it obliterates whoever they are. If we're going back to the lyrics, okay... Gather energy and outcomes power. One shot. Let's aim our cries to this guy. That's the other thing. It doesn't matter where he is. If if as long most of, most of the pictures of people giving their energy are up to this guy, and he's also upward in the sky with the spirit bomb above him. If that's actually what's going on, I'm losing my freaking mind. I can't actually believe it. Are they actually referring to? The, is that actually in the song? The, this is the credits. This is the cartoons credit song. Is that what they're referring to? It, it, no way. No way. Okay. 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 God damn. <laughs> okay. Hold on. I'm going to take a look at the music video one more time. This might... Okay. Outside of the fact that I'm freaking out because I'm a Dragon Ball fanboy... And uh, they are potentially referencing Dragon Ball a whole bunch in this music video. Overall, having listened to it, check out the reaction. And now looking at the lyrics, this has got to be one of the best songs of 2023. Um, and yes, I am giving it extra credit because of the Dragon Ball references. They have to be referencing them. They have to be. At the very minimum, they're referencing Journey to the West, which is a very famous story. We already knew that. Um, I knew that already. But... Um, these little, like, Easter eggs and nods. Oh, God, dude. The lyrics. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. I can't. I can't. I can't. Thank you for being a part of this deep dive. I think this was what they were going for. I tried to do a little bit of research extra into, like, interviews that they were giving, but I couldn't find too much information on, like, interviews or something like that. But go thank you for being a part of this deep dive into into Super by Seventeen. Uh, feel free to check out my reaction, my reaction to the music video. But um, I think that's where we're going to close it. I think this song is top tier. Uh, one of the best songs of 2023 uh, so far. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Um, and uh, yeah, check out my reaction. Thank you so much. 17, super, deep dive, Dragon Ball.